Every year during the planting season in Zambia, we see thousands of hectares of poor crops and families who have wasted their efforts and resources to grow them. This is due to the use of unsustainable farming methods such as overall tillage of soil, burning of crop residue and monocropping. Continued use of this conventional type of farming makes soils depleted and fields prone to erosion. Without any change in practice, crop quality and yield only declines, leaving farmers in a cycle of poverty. Tenzo lima mzela, so tika tila fertilizer, chimvula chagwa, fertilizer yonza enzo enda pati, bansi, si enzo sevenza mmilisi, aa. Andi na chila ala so ichi, chika buela, manzi yonza yange na pansi mmilisi, si enzo kudia buela. Nika gula teni bagsi, nenzo choza yaka pena mabagi yali teni. Andi tumakobu tuenze so, tumono tumono. Unga shangi ya mbili so ya bingi, kutu ushange ka bagi, uchosa shabetu matumasaka uro tutata uro tubili. Kuteura kwa tu stenzo teura buwini. Tenzo chosa kapena masaka chabe nga timapeza buwini. Kapena mpeza sikiste, nisha kuma chosa buwini, bati nisha kuna lima, 4 hectares iso. Tenzo siya chabe 20 bagi. Then yenzo siri la pakati. Hapa so sembe tamba kumbura, unga mtaoni. Through the conservation farming unit, small-scale farmers are being equipped with the knowledge and practical experience to help them successfully adopt conservation farming and conservation agriculture practices, mainly using minimum soil disturbance, retention of residues, and crop rotation. Under Climate Smart Agriculture, uh, the technologies which we have introduced to farmers are uh, actually it is comprised of three principles. Uh, the first one is minimum tillage where farmers, they don't need to till the whole land, they just need to disturb where they want to put the seed or to plant the seed. Then this is followed by um, a crop rotation. Then the third principle is uh, residue retention. When the farmers finish harvesting their crops, they need to leave the residues in the field so that those residues could capture moisture on the ground and also avoid the sun hitting the, the, the ground directly or the soils. Starting with a small scale farmer, you find that in these categories where you find the majority using a handhole, for example. And when it comes to a handhole, we have gone for digging of basins, which is about 30 centimeters in length and approximately 15 centimeters in depth. And this same basin is where you come to apply all your nutrients, uh, fertilizers, you know, manure if you've got manure, and you plant your seed. So it's all about precision. Coming to the emergent farmer, so we've gone to the extent of having to use animals, but this time it's reaping. So as opposed to plowing. Again, here is the issue of precision. With that continuous furrow that is ripped, there's rainwater harvesting. Precision in terms of nutrient application, they all target in that same rip line the same that applies at tractor level. We've got a technology where you have reapers now. These are tractor drawn reapers. And these tractor drawn reapers, just as well, they will go in up to as deep as 30 centimeters into the soil, cracking those hard pans, those impediment layers that you find in the soil. And it enables the rainwater harvesting. Even those who may not have, who may not necessarily own a pair of oxen or a tractor. We are also promoting what we are calling tillage service provision, okay? where those who have oxen or, or tractors are being encouraged to offer this service to the farmers who, who may need to have their fuel ripped either by tractor or oxen. From the very first season farmers attempt conservation farming, the increase in productivity is visibly apparent. They are able to prepare the land, plant in good time, and yields increase significantly. Yindiya yari pingi, yindiya u yagu berega chishonto kuti yindiya upumuna gaga yidi go. Pesi yagu prawingi, yindi jingi jibere go yindiya upumuna chishonto. Tu ambabo boka abona tu yari pinga, tu ashanga. Jasi wana amwa ni ekta kumana. Pesi guti wanga kuri mina, amwa ni ekta tu yari mina almost a week. Mukaenda kwa makosti ya plowing per hectare, na makosti ya reaping, pari difference. 
Leaping per hectare is 400 kwacha. Plowing per hectare is uh, about 1,000 kwacha. And in a hectare, there's two and a half acres. For now, not over here, my head say the one hectare plow over Asia, not over the trout plow over here, 300 kwacha, one year. The best not for the minimum, you can spend almost 800 kwacha. Come on, Murani, this is a five, five kwacha. Na six kwacha per line. For you to multiply your money, I also took about six hundred kwacha per hectare. So, when I saw Bira go pass in Nazareth, I was going to pass. I was going to go to the doctor. 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 I was Orosikisi, mwenu nga wana kutaa ulimi undu wa nipitirizi. Mtu wakali pinga, wakali pinga, one hectare tuwa shanga mapopwe. Amane alimu, tuwa yatu alipinga, one hectare alimu tuwa shanga soya binzi. Busena wa mapopwe, mbu tuwa kali pinga, one hectare, tuwa kaya na masaka kwa na one fifty. Amane, busena wa soya binzi, walo ukambo kamvula, uino kawa kawa tu, tuwa kaya na masaka kwa na seventy five. Tu kaka kuya na chumuchi ndi, muma popwe, tu kaka kuya na chumuchi ndi tu saka tui twenty, muso ya binzi, chumuchi ndi tu saka bro tui ten. As farmers move from season to season with conservation farming, farming becomes less about perilous subsistence and more about profits, which can be invested back into making the farm even more successful. It also becomes about investing into capital assets and educational, nutritional, and healthy well-being of the family. Ndambo kuya na marinda chilo ya kuishaba nangu. Kambo ka kakulima kui ndima. Wani, nakuwa nisa manga kwa nyumba ye. Then two, nakuwa nisa kugura kwa ngombe ziri four. Tinakuwa nisa kugura kwa na ripa ija ya ngombe ija. Kale nga guna nga mnyumba ya uchani. Kwene hapo tatambali mama kola, tazenga mo nyumba. Mwena gula na zenga kwa na shopu. Pesti skwebo. Kamba wanga yangu inja nji kutipenza uba la kubula manitarigua anwa hafa mngarindi suwe. Ngati muka liku dauta na kulipinga. Lipinga niko nishabe uro wani lima ya kutimuone ubuino wa ripinga. Try a field, do a corner and see the difference the next year. Times have changed. We've got to change with the times. Stop burning. Stop turning your soil and conserve your organic matter. So, I'm going to go to the market. I'm going to small scale farmers scaling up. I'm going to go to the market. I'm going to go to the market.